Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Deb C. I'm pleased to be, it's Deb C. Boop, boop, that's me. Boop, Deb C. Hey guys, and what is going on with that hair? Hey guys, and I hope everybody had a great day. Happy Monday. That's an oxymoron, but I hope it was at least good. Um, so listen, last night, Sister Wives was on. Didn't watch it last night, but... I did watch it today. I made my notes. So I made myself some hot tea. Today, I'm going to spill the tea. I'm drinking some um, some green tea with a little bit of lemon and some honey in it. So let me taste it. Mm, that's delicious. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, I'm gonna tell you, first off, the first thing that happened was Mary and uh, Mary and I, I believe it was her sister and her brother-in-law were talking. Cody's coming over and he, he's gonna actually help her move out. Um, listen, good for good for for Mary. Mary is moving. Mary's getting out of job, getting out of dodge. Good for her. Like I said, Cody's coming over to help. Um, we'll talk about that later. I thought it was a little odd. However, we'll talk about that later. Um, so before he gets there, they're talking about, she tells them, you know, what has happened um, with her filing the release to get out of the marriage. Um, and the question is, well, what do you want to do with this, this furniture? I'm going to tell you what. I would be the same way as Mary. I, myself, wouldn't want any furniture that was used in that marriage. Like they were like it, the, the brother, -in -law, which the brother-in-law, I thought the brother-in-law was a little bit of a, I don't want to say a little bit of a dick, but I could see the brother-in-law maybe being like an asshole is all I'm going to say. Um, but he was like, why, well, why, why wouldn't you want it? Well, listen, I wouldn't want it because this is furniture that I had gotten with a man who's now my ex-husband, a man who really had, doesn't have the best things to say about me. Why would I want to keep it? Also, she had said to herself, getting rid of the furniture was like, felt good because there's kind of like attached to it were feelings that she was just able to get, um, to, to part with. But when her, the brother-in-law was like, I feel like the brother-in-law had some had some difficulty accepting it because when she said, I don't want this furniture that's from a broken marriage, he's like, is that what you think of it? A broken marriage? Well, that's what it is. It's a, it's a broken marriage. Like it's a marriage that did not work. I mean, if it was working, then it would be working. But what are, when things are not working, what are they? They're broken. It's a broken marriage. So believe what you want. That's just what it is. And, and Cody, or Cody, yeah, Cody, um, I think at this point, Cody comes over and they're talking. And Cody, she seems to, she seems to think, Mary seems to think that um, Cody... Cody, well, Cody, I think Cody had actually said that she's, Mary's upset because she lost the power. And, and Mary was like, listen, I never even had the power. So it's funny that you think that I had some kind of power. And Cody was saying, she, Cody was saying, listen, she feels like she lost the power when she, um, when she signed those divorce papers so that so that he could um, adopt Robin's kids. Um, she, listen, Mary knew, Mary knew that things um, weren't in a great place. And yeah, but Mary, Mary was like, there's no way that that's the reason why I was upset that I lost power. I never had, I never had power, but Mary, Mary had said that she knew that things, um, that they weren't in a great place. And 
when she signed those pa when she signed those divorce papers and things had changed for Janelle too. Um, the big problem with Cody is that he's he can't he can't see anyone else's side. Like Mary was saying, he can't um, he he can't see my problems. He can't see the problems that I have, and he can't pro he can't see when the problems had started. Um, and he was saying when he said, and I'll always say this when he says it was dysfunctional from the start. Well, if it was dysfunctional from the start, why did you even marry her? I mean, it's not like with, um, it's not like with Christine who we found out like he was obligated to marry her. Why did you marry her then if that, if there was dysfunction, if there was dysfunction from the beginning? And there were two sides of that story because Cody's like, there was dysfunction from the beginning. And Mary is like, but there wasn't, I mean, there wasn't, there were some good, there were some good times that he's just conveniently forgetting. Um, so it's this, uh, listen, I'm going to tell you, what do I have written here? Okay. Oh yeah. Somebody said, well, what's it going to look like now that you've moved on, Mary? It's going to look like freedom is what it's going to look like. When she's able to move, that's going to be a whole new freedom. And I'm so happy for her with that. Now, Dave and Christine, they, here's, they've been dating on, on the show, on this show, this episode, they said that they started dating in the beginning of December and they were, they were, and they had been dating six weeks, I think, or something like that. No, they're not engaged yet, but they were going out looking at wedding venues, which I thought it was kind of um, carriage before the horse. Like, I don't know. I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of odd at first. Um, some of the kids think that they're moving a little too fast. Um, and a lot of the kids are like, I don't know that I want to watch them like kiss and not make out, but kiss. But the thing is, Christine didn't have that with Cody. Like Cody never held her hand, didn't do any PDA. So this is the first time that she's had this. And interspersed in between like Christine and David is Cody talking about his marriage to, um, to Christine. Um, and he's, he's saying about how all of a sudden he's like, this whole thing with him, this episode was, he's offended. He's offended. Well, he's offended for her that she had to stay with him for, for a lifetime while her soulmate was out there. Like I married my soulmate, but she's stuck with me while her soulmate's roaming the earth. Well, if you're so upset that she that she had to stay with you, then why were you so pissed when she left? I don't I don't understand that. And he also talked a little bit about Christine, like when they first married. He he says basically he was obligated to marry her because her family was like was like plural. Um, what did he say? Polygamy royalty. He said he had to because they were polygamy royalty. So, and Christine was like, I never embraced that. That, that was Cody. So listen, in my mind, Cody was like, you know, this is the big catch. So what am I going to do? Because at first, whenever, you know, when people say, I was obligated. My first thought was, wait a minute, why were you obligated? Was there like a pregnancy? But then when he said polygamy royalty, I was like, oh, okay. But Christine was like, that, that wasn't really the case. I don't know. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna tell you, uh, listen, this right here, this whole thing, of Mary finally getting off the pot 
and divorcing this app and, and asking for the release and moving on. This is the best thing that she's, she's ever done. She's happy. She's not miserable. It's perfect. It's perfect for her. Um, but honestly though, whenever, whenever everybody was inside, the four of them were inside, they were talking after they moved everything. Um, and Cody was saying it's, it's, it's sad. I know that this ended, but it's, it's sad. It's such, it's so sad. Well, why are you so sad? Why are you now saying it's sad that your marriage didn't work out? He was the one who's, who was saying, I, I, I didn't love her. I never loved her. I didn't want to marry her. And her leaving was the best thing that happened to me in 25 years. I'm so glad she's gone. And now all of a sudden it's sad. Which one is it, Cody? Because you can have one or the other. Or are you just saying this now to not make yourself, to maybe cut down on like people saying that you're an asshole? I mean, is that, are you trying to now look like a good guy? Because that ain't, that's never going to happen. Um, and talking about, and then he was talking about the other ladies leaving, um, the other women leaving, and the sister, amen, sister hit it straight on the, right on the head. It was your own darn fault because you said you didn't want to be married exactly. So don't put that on the other women. You said that you didn't want to be married to them, and then you act like it. I mean, listen, he didn't want to be married to any of them except for Robin. And this whole thing of, it offends me that God would want me to spend the rest of my life with these three women. Here's the thing God didn't want you to do. God didn't want you to marry three of them. Listen, you can't even handle one. So in the past, and this is, this is, this is odd because He's saying, he's putting it on God and the church and then the, about not liking divorces. But then he's saying, then it seemed like he was saying it's okay for the divorce. But then he goes back to this whole thing with Sonny and Cher, like when he was six and Sonny and Cher got divorced and he, and it shook him to the core I, which one is it? And I don't understand how many six-year-olds are like, how many six-year-olds are paying attention to pop culture news that Sonny and Cher divorced? I don't understand. Also, I'm going to tell you, I'm not that big a fan of this tea. I will finish it, but not that big of a fan. There are apparently health benefits. So we'll finish it. I'm not that big a fan of it. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. Then they went back to um, Christine and David continuing their um, non-engaged wedding venue search. Uh, that's a lot of people that are coming. That's a lot of people that are going to be coming. Why not just rent out a football stadium and you can just like, have as many people as you want. That's a lot. So listen, after hearing Cody talk about his wedding to Christine, I'm going to tell you, that woman deserves her walk down the aisle. She deserves a lavish ceremony. She deserves a wedding dress fit for a queen. She deserves all of that. Because the way that he talked about their wedding, he barely got the day off. It was just a sad occasion. He was sad. He already had two wives and he was obligated to marry her. Mm-hmm. And then they go in and they talk about, oh, well, wait a minute. First of all, in plural marriage, the first wife gets a big wedding and then the other ones don't. So Mary had the big wedding Janelle didn't have any wedding. Janelle didn't even have a wedding dress. Janelle looked like she got married at something, at like in something she got at JCPenney's. 
Christine didn't have a big wedding. And then here comes Robin. Robin, if you remember, gets the big wedding. There was that whole like debacle with um, the wedding dress, like make a big deal. Like you're gonna help me pick it out. Meanwhile, um, meanwhile, Cody picked it out. Cody picked it out already. But this big thing, and then they go on this, and then they go on what, that big, what was it, like 11 or 14 days they spent on their honeymoon when he had a newborn at home with another wife? Mm-mm. And then she, and then, and then they rewrite history. They rewrite history because she says, um, she, she says she wanted to, she just wanted to elope, but Cody wanted, Cody wanted, a big wedding for the family. This was none of this was for the family. Listen, if you didn't want a big wedding, okay, here's what you could have done. You could have said, listen, I'm just gonna have the same kind of wedding that Janelle and Christine had. Cause like I said, they're rewriting history. They didn't do that for the family. This is what they did it for. They did it for themselves, okay? They did it for themselves. Robin out here trying to make it look like, now to make it look like she's the she's one of the good ones. All I care about is my sister wives. That's all I care about. Listen, as soon as they start talking about that wedding, their wedding, Try and make it seem like, try and make it seem like they they weren't into a big wedding. My ass, my ass. Um, and Isabel was talking about too about like David and David and Christine holding hands and having uh, PDA. It, she, I know she's not she's not super big on the PDA, but I mean. Christy, your mother never had that kind of that kind of love. Like she was married to a man who obviously was just obligated to marry her. So yeah, let her have it. I mean, she she was married to a man who didn't even like her. So I just let her have it. And like I said, oh, what I put here, what a load of BS. So Janelle didn't even get a wedding dress or a ceremony. Robin did. She says she did it for the family. She didn't do it for the family. They both did it. They both did it for for themselves. It wasn't anything about the family. And Chris, and Cody saying his um his wedding day to Christine was sad. Listen, I'm so happy that Christine finally gets her big ass wedding after all, after three of her daughters got married and had nice big weddings. Good for her. Um, but then Chris, Christine had said, "Oh, Robin was Robin was a great wife um, for the for this mayor for this wedding. She included us in everything." I still don't. I still don't buy that that she did it for the family. She didn't. She did it for herself. Cody did it for himself. So that was the end. Next week, um, listen. Next week, Janelle brings up the question to Cody of, "Why don't you just buy me out?" of why don't you just buy me out from Coyote Pass? He ain't gonna do that because listen, I don't think he's gonna do that. But from what I understand, him and Robin, I mean, they got some money because apparently him and Robin just bought a house for like $2 million. You need a $2 million house. Why you need a $2 million house? Girl, please, okay. So listen, in the comments, let me know, let me know what you think. Um, honestly, how much longer do you think Robin is going to stay there? Because I, I don't know. I mean, they deserve each other, but how long you think? So in the comments, let me know how long you think. Also, uh, let me know if you watched what you thought. Also, um, if nobody told you yet today, listen. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there in the world. 
Um, and so it comes right back at you. Please take care of one another. In this crazy, crazy world where everybody is so divided, let's just put a little bit of kindness and let's just put a little bit of civility and kindness and, you know, understanding and compassion out there. Um, also, four things I always say, please be aware of your surroundings, be safe, hydrate, hydrate often with water. And if you're someplace where there's a dangerous situation, please um, always be mindful, be mindful, be aware, be safe, be smart. Know that Dolly and I are sending our love, our thoughts, our prayers, and all the positivity that you need to get you through it. And I love you guys. I may see you tomorrow, maybe not. We will see. Okay, I think I will see you tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. Love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.